Hello and welcome to our new YouTube tutorial. In this video we're going to be building a slideshow of the social media icons. Before we dive deeper into our project, I'm going to say a special and huge thank you to Skillshare for helping our channel by sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online platform and community for courses on all kinds of topics. It makes education available and accessible for anyone who wants to learn something new or just level up the skills. You can take the courses by watching videos and then practice what you have learned by making your class projects by using your new skills and knowledge. Skillshare offers thousands of great classes on topics like illustration, graphic design, web development, music production, photography and much more. It is a place where millions of students come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes, handsome projects and feedback from a community of millions for a very affordable price at less than $10 a month annually. I'm excited to tell you that the first thousand people who will use the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So you'll be able to get access to all different classes on the platform, learn some new stuff and develop your skills that can be applied in real life. So join up. Alright, let's go back to the project. It's going to be a kind of small one, but I think it will be interesting. The project is going to be built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Before we start to create the project, I'm going to describe it. So we have here a full screen background image and a couple of pretty nice social media icons. They are moving with some intervals and the icon in the center is becoming lighter. For the rest of the icons, they are darker by default. So as we said, we're going to build this project with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I expect that you already know the basics of those three technologies. I've created a new folder on the desktop called Slideshow, in which I have another folder for the images. Let's go ahead and open this folder in VS Code. I'm going to create our working files. The first one is going to be index.html. Then we will have style.css and script.js. Let's open the index.html file and create a basic HTML document. For that I'm going to use Emmet. We need to place here an exclamation mark and then hit tab or enter. Alright, after that let's change the title. Let's insert here social media icons. Then I'm going to link CSS and JavaScript files. Let's open the link tag in the head element and specify the path of the CSS file. As for the JavaScript, I'm going to open the script tag down below, right above the closing body tag. Let's specify here the path of the JavaScript file. After that, let's run the project to the browser. For that, I'm going to use a live server, which allows us to run the project live in the browser using a local server. And finally, let's place the text editor and the browser side by side, like so, and get started. So, we are ready to create an HTML markup. Let's open the div tag, which is going to be the wrapper of the content. Let's assign to it class slideshow. Overall, we will have five different social media icons. They will be represented by the images. And also they will be wrapped by the link elements. So let's open link tag with a class slideshow link. Then insert here an image. I'm going to select image called slideshow img1. Let's duplicate link element four times and then quickly change the numbers of the image names. OK, so that's it about the HTML markup. Everything is prepared and now we can write some CSS. First of all, I'm going to customize and align the icons and after that we will make the slideshow work using JavaScript. 
At first let's create some common and reset styles. Let's select all the elements using an asterisk. First of all I'm going to get rid of default margin and padding from every element. So let's set both of them to zero. Also we need box sizing, border box. And I'm going to get rid of default styles from the links. Let's use text decoration none. So throughout this project I'm going to use RAM as the measurement unit. By default one RAM equals to 16 pixels because the font size of the HTML element is equal to 16 pixels. I'm going to convert one RAM into 10 pixels and for that I'm going to decrease the font size of the HTML element. Let's make it 62.5%. Okay, so that's it about the common styles. Let's select the wrapper, div element. First of all, I'm going to define width and height. Let's make width 100%. As for the height, I'm going to set it to 100% of the viewport. Next, I'm going to set the image as the full screen background. But before that, let's use a function called radial gradient. Radial gradient function sets the color transition from the center. So I'm going to specify here two different colors. The first one is going to be 4, 8, three times, and the opacity 0.95. As for the second color, I'm going to insert here black color with the opacity 0.95. After that, let's define the URL. I'm going to select image called bg.png also we need here center as the position and no repeat lastly let's define the size of the background let's make it cover so as you can see we have here a full screen background image next i'm going to place the icon side by side for that let's use flexbox we need display flex and after that, let's align icons in the center vertically, use align items, center. Also, let's create some space on the left and right sides using padding. I'm going to set it to 0 and then 2 RAM. Alright, that's it about the wrapper. Let's take care of the icons. I'm going to decrease their size. Let's select at first slideshow link and make its width 20%. After that, we have to define the width of the image itself. So let's select IMG element and set width to 100%. So in this case, the image will take up 100% of the width of the parent element. All right, that's it about the CSS for now. We have to make the slideshow work using JavaScript. So let's open the script.js file. First of all, I'm going to select the wrapper div element. I'm in the slideshow, let's create new variable and call it slideshow. Then select the element using query selector method. We have to specify here the class name, slideshow. All right, let me tell you how we're going to make this slideshow work. We will remove the first icon from the list and we will add it back to the list as the last one. We will do that with some intervals and also with some smooth transitions. That's all about the process of the slideshow. So as we said we need some intervals and for that I'm going to use one of the built-in methods called setInterval. It takes two arguments. The first one is a callback function which is executed after each interval. As for the second argument it's going to be the amount of the interval itself. We're going to change the images after 3 seconds, so I'm going to pass here 3000. It is 3000 milliseconds, which is equal to 3 seconds. Okay, so as we said, we have to remove the first icon and then add it to the list as the last one. So first of all, let's select the first icon. I'm going to create new variable. Let's call it first icon. I'm going to select first icon using one of the properties called first element child. I mean, it's going to be the child of the slideshow. C 
So now the first icon is selected and in order to remove it from the wrapper div element, I'm going to use one of the DOM methods called remove child. So we need slideshow, then remove child and as the argument we have to pass here first icon. So as you can see after every three seconds the icons are removing. As we said we have to add them back to the list and for that I'm going to use another DOM method called append child. By default it adds an element as the last child. So we need slideshow followed by the append child method and as the argument we have to pass here again for a second. Okay, so as you can see the slideshow already works but we need to add to it a couple of different effects. The first thing that I'm going to do is to remove the first icon smoothly with a fade effect. In order to do that I'm going to create a new class in CSS. Let's call it faded out. So this class will include two styles. In order to fade the element out we need to make the opacity and the width both of them zero. So let's set opacity and width to zero. And besides that we have to use transition for the first icon. In order to select first icon I'm going to use nth child selector. We need to specify here one and then let's insert here transition width with the duration 0.5 second and opacity with the same duration. Okay, that's it about the CSS. Let's go back to the JavaScript file. Now we need to add class faded out to the first icon. So we need here first icon followed by the property called class list which gives us all the classes of the element. Then we need to use method called add and we have to specify here class name faded out. So now the icon is removing but without any fade effect because transition effect needs some time, actually half of the second. So we need to wait for half of the second before we remove the element from the list. In order to do that I'm going to use one of the methods called setTimeout. It allows us to execute the function once with some delay time. So this method takes two arguments. The first one is a callback function. Let's insert here those two lines. As for the second argument it's going to be a delay time. In this case we need half of the second. I mean 500 milliseconds. So now the icon is removing with a nice fade effect. Now we have to add it back to the list again with fade effect. In order to do that we have to remove class fade out from the element. So we need first icon followed by the class list property and then we have to use method called remove. Let's specify here the class name fade out. So now the icon is added to the list but without any fade effect because again we have to wait for half of the second. So we need to use again set timeout function. Then insert this line of code inside of the function and also specify the delay time 500 milliseconds. So now Still we don't have here the fade effect because we need to define the transition for the last icon. Let's go to the CSS file. Actually we need the same transition that we used for the first icon so I'm going to add here just the selector for the fifth icon. So right now everything works fine and we can move on and take care of the second effect. I mean we have to make the icons darker by default and then we have to make them lighter once they take third place in the list like it is in the finished project. Okay, 
First of all, let's make all the icons darker. For that, I'm going to use one of the CSS properties called filter with the function called brightness. Let's insert here 0.1. So this value means that the element keeps only 10% of its default brightness. After that, I'm going to create a new class in CSS, which will include the higher brightness and we will add this class to the element using JavaScript. Let's call this class light. Then use again filter with the function brightness. And as the value, let's insert here 1.5. Okay, let's go back to the JavaScript file. Now we need to select the third icon and we have to add to it a newly created class light. Let's create a new variable and call it third icon. In order to get access to the third icon, I'm going to use property called children. And then in square brackets, we have to specify the number of the element. In this case, we need three. So now we have selected the element and we need to add to it class light. So we need here third icon dot class list dot add and we have to specify here the class name light so now as you can see the icon is becoming lighter but it keeps the brightness so we don't need that we have to remove back the class light so we need to remove it from the previous sibling of the third icon because once it moves then it's no longer the third icon in the list but the second one so we need here third icon dot previous element sibling followed by the class list property. Then we need method called remove and again class light. Okay, so now everything works fine. We just need to add a transition to this effect. Let's go to the CSS file and select the third icon, use again nth child selector, then insert here transition with filter 0.5 seconds. Ok, so now we have much better results, icon is becoming darker smoothly, but as you can see we need transition once the icon becomes lighter as well, so let's add transition to the class light we need filter and as the duration let's specify here 1.5 seconds okay so now everything works fine and before we finish this tutorial I'm going to do one more thing if I reload the page then all five icons will be darker we don't need that we need to make the third icon lighter by default and to do that I'm going to add class light to the third icon in the HTML file. Ok, that's it, finally we are done. We have finished working on the project. Again, it was a kind of small one, but I hope it was interesting and you enjoyed it. If you like this video, then please thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified once we release the next tutorials. Ok, see you next time.